Well, tracing is not bad. Practically, if you see that, there is nothing wrong with tracing. But all that is good is not necessarily ideal. Hey guys, Satyajit here and you are watching Satyajit's artwork. In this video, we will dip down into this particular question that whether we should limit the use of tracing knowing the fact that it is not bad. So, as I said, I will not try to give a moral lecture on the ethical aspects of using tracing that you should not use it because it is not ethical and all those things. See, I myself use it whenever it is required. I mean, there are a lot of scenarios when you need to use it in order to meet the deadline. But this should not be a norm. There are other methods of approaching a painting or drawing, whatever you are making, be it traditional or digital. Like in this case, I have approached this particular painting without using any tracing medium and I was quite like satisfied with the outcome and you can do the same with your work as well so that you get to know the process of understanding the values, understanding the forms and understanding the process of painting from observation or drawing from observation. Now. While saying that, I'll also encourage you to know the process of tracing and it is not a rocket science guys, it's a very very easy, you know, it's a very easy task to follow. Tracing is extremely easy, you will get many videos on internet and you can also read uh, some books where a lot of methods have been explained how to trace. These are good, these are handy tricks to have on your arsenal. But you should try to limit the use of it. We'll discuss more about that but before that I'll try to give an overview of what I am painting. Actually as you can see this is a figure which is I think uh, uh, those who are associated with cricket they might have already guessed the person but those who don't watch cricket and uh, maybe you were into soccer or some other sports or maybe you don't watch sports at all that can also be a case so let me tell you he's a legendary indian cricketer who was the instrumental figure behind india lifting the 1983 world cup so he's one of my personal favorite cricketer so i just thought of making an illustration of him lifting the trophy because recently a film came um, which uh, actually depicted the whole journey of this underrated indian team in that particular time uh, when they lifted the trophy and not only the trophy the morale of the whole nation you know so I, it kind of inspired me and, and i just thought of making this illustration anyways guys at this stage you can see that for this particular illustration I followed the process of painting very loosely here I didn't went for too much details uh, and thus my approach of drawing was also necessary most of the time now whatever I will explain is very relevant to the tracing like whenever we trace we get bogged up with whatever thing is presented in front of us but this imagery here is not something which was actually there in the reference image. The reference was a bit different and I had the liberty to change it for good as per my requirement. So this is the biggest advantage of not using the tracing because most of the time when you use tracing, you come up with an imagery of what you see or what is already there. Like if you are going to illustrate something which contains uh, an amalgamation of two or three different things, in that case it becomes very difficult to trace down things because it actually works against you rather than working for you. So understanding and knowing the requirement of your subject is very important and for that reason I always suggest you to work from observation to study to do things, to make mistakes, to make imperfect things. See, there is nothing like that. You are not a professional portrait artist. Like there are professional portrait artists who make portraitures uh, for a living. And 
and they practice years and years in order to master the art of portraiture but in modern days you will find many portraiture artists also using the method of tracing and that's completely fine in certain cases like some client is paying you in order to make uh, their son daughter or whoever they are commissioning the portrait they want the likeness to be hundred percent so in that case uh, it is quite understandable that you will try to make things in a way which satisfies the customer but that's not the always case with your own work you should not try to always get into that zone where you kind of feel like that you can't actually draw without tracing because it becomes our muscle memory so if you always use tracing then your muscle memory will recognize that you actually can't draw although you can draw maybe you have studied a lot maybe you have done a lot of study work and other things but your muscle memory will slowly try to absorb that thing that you can't draw without tracing which is a very very uh, like dangerous thing guys because uh, over the period of time you will lose confidence on drawing because you will start feeling like that you can't draw without tracing which becomes a problem with time and you don't want to be the person on that side of the problem so it is always advisable from the people who have studied art for many years that you should practice freehand whenever you can and in my suggestion you should try to practice freehand 80 to 90 percent of the time rest 10 percent of the time you have the full liberty to use tracing in order to make the work a bit fast process see i'm not again saying that tracing is good or bad or whether you should continue it or not what i am just trying to convey is that it is like allopathic medicine you know whenever we get sick we take medicines but if you look closely then uh, it is also mentioned that there are some side effects of the medicines so this is kind of like side effect of using the tracing you get bogged up with this mechanical method so much so that you actually lose confidence on your own painting and drawing abilities so i hope guys this video was informative and uh, as well as uh, helpful in terms of um, making this decision for yourself that whether you want to use the tracing for most of the time or not see you soon guys with my next video till then take care and keep working and if you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe hey guys thanks a lot for watching if you want to support my work then please do like comment and share my works and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is very important so that you get notified as soon as i post a new video